I don't really know what I'm doing, but I removed a bunch of stuff. I don't think I needed to remove everything, but I don't really care. I'm doing what I want to do. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today is another R32 project. We are going to be removing the coilovers uh, because I think the springs need to be replaced. And in the rear here, um, that spring and the coilover is maxed out. And on the other rear, the coilover is halfway. So I think these springs are different heights. So I'm going to be tracking and racing this R32 uh, this winter and in the next summer. So I don't, I don't want uh, different springs. I want to keep everything uniform. So I've never done springs before in a modern car. I've only done it in a 68 Beetle. And I don't even think there are springs. I just replaced the shocks. Yeah, it's torsion. It's torsion in a 68 Beetle. So it was, uh, you know, that was the only time I ever did anything to do with shocks. So I'm a learn by doing kind of a guy. And I do have a TV right here. So YouTube really helps me out. So I'm going to jump in here and remove all the springs. Uh, probably remove this coil. We'll give them a nice cleanup. See what brand they are. I don't know if the R32 came with coilovers. I don't believe so. But either way, I'm going to jump in, see what I'm working with, and go from there. So one thing I do recommend um, is always have your phone on you. Because if something happens, like if this car falls off the lift, Hopefully my hands are free and I can't call someone. Or at least, hey Siri somebody. Looks like it's doing something. Mini spring out. Alright guys, so I got the rear spring removed here. Left rear. Left rear. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I removed a bunch of stuff. I don't think I needed to remove everything, but I don't really care. I'm doing what I want to do. So I'm going to go to the right rear. I've done the left rear, uh, and then I'm going to jump to the front. A few moments later. Alright guys, so rear shocks and springs are out. Uh, rear right was about quarter inch longer, quarter inch, quarter inch, inches, a quarter of an inch, there we go, longer uh, than the rear left. So those need to be replaced. Uh, they were compensated to be equal uh, with the twisty coil over thingy my bobs and uh, yeah now under the front I think I have to get into the engine compartment to remove these completely which is fun because I don't have a latch so I have to use some needle nose pliers I ordered a new one I should probably that should be the first <laughs> improvement I do is just put that goddamn latch on so let's jump into the front Alright, well that's removed. I'm 
sweating like a dog. Okay, magic. <laughs> Keep doing that. All right, guys, well, that wraps it up for today. I have removed the rear shocks and springs. I've removed both front uh, coilovers. Everything went smooth. It took me about an hour and a half um, with filming. I do think I need to order uh, bushings for there and there, or, or both front. Uh, if I have bushings for this, I'll probably order those as well while everything is off as long as the costs don't add up too much uh, but where do I stand from now so I have removed uh, the rotors the calipers as you can see all the shocks so I need to figure out where I can get these turned I took them somewhere today and they were a hundred dollars uh, to turn the rotors let me know in the comments below if that sounds normal the rear rotors are shot so I need to order those one of uh, the left uh, rear caliper is seized so I need to order one of those and then get it painted I see an Audi TT one on eBay for about 110 bucks but it's silver and as you know R32 calipers are blue so need to order that need to order some springs and shocks for the rear and I need to price out new springs for these coilovers I don't know if they stock coilovers I don't know anything about uh, the, the suspension on this car so i need to look into that if those are fine i'll keep those i do need to raise the car uh it was lowered about two inches i need to raise it another four inches uh for ice racing that's what i want to do we'll see how it looks it may look goofy but anyways thanks for tuning in um be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to stay in tune with what i'm doing with r32 i have three videos a week coming out uh, I will be a mix of R32 videos, R8 videos, and garage videos. If you guys are interested in any of the cabinets, the tools uh, that I use, I currently use Sonic tools, and it is making my life easy because I seem to have most tools. After every project like now, I'll be putting these tools back in the drawer, keeping my workspace nice and clean. That's why I invested in this. But if you have any questions about how I set up my garage, what lift I'm using, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks again. Until next time.